All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into our Reddit discussion. And this time, it actually comes from Reddit. So, this comes from a Redditor named Ghost Ali Riza, who posted a video of them making an artwork of the gunsmith thing from Call of Duty Warzone. But they had transferred it over to Apex, and it looked like a very, uh, it looks like they took a lot of time on this. Troy's already putting on the bullshit Get goggles. Those fucking goggles on. Uh, he's already got the bullshit on. goggles on. Uh, so, that being said, why or why don't you think that this would be good to set up into Apex? Explain. It is not in the spirit of a battle royale. A battle royale has the RNG. You need to have the set attachments that do a fixed thing every time. It doesn't have to be disclaimed. You know that the purple attachments better than the blue. And the gold is better than the purple. You know that I'm talking like, for example, barrel stabilizer. Obviously, it gets better as it goes up in color. You don't need to have all this other random shit and pre customization to your guns that you're going to pick up off the ground. You're supposed to build your gun up, play with the shitty guns, and you get rewarded from looting or killing people in this game, being good at the game. We're talking about you pre customizing a gun before you even get into the lobby. Right. I think, I think that. I would love to see beyond the skins, like being able to do cosmetic changes to the weapon, cosmetic changes. I would love to be able to make adjustments to the way that my gun looks all within the context of my skin. So like changing, changing specific, like being able to change out the sights if I feel like it, or like being able to add a suppressor just for looks, that'd be tight. I, but I think the uh, what we saw, if it was to be real, is kind of a necessity for if they're going to have like a, a team deathmatch kind of. But if we're taught, let's let's keep the discussion on the actual BR itself. The team deathmatch mode, I 100% agree with you. That would be awesome to have something like that. But I do think there's some utility in having these different types of uh, loadouts and stuff like that that you can adjust your gun with. Um, Troy, now how do you feel about this in the actual BR part of the game? I think it, it changes uh, Apex's ethos to be more like Call of Duty, which I personally would like, but for the people that love Apex for Apex, I, I think it's a big loss. Now, I'm a big Apex for Apex guy. I've been playing this game since launch, but there is an idea that I think would not be bad at all, and I think it would actually add a, a gigantic dimension to this game if it were possible. Now, obviously we talk about, you know, Apex has always had white is is the worst one. You've got blue, purple, gold, and all that different type of stuff. The color tells you how good the attachment is. Now, what if in the gunsmith back at the main uh, hub of the game before you enter in, what if, for example, a gun like the Alternator, who doesn't really stand a chance to the R99 in a 1v1, really doesn't have that much on it, what if you were able to pick the type of attachment that each level had. So for instance, say your white uh, your white barrel, you could choose from a list of different white barrels what it could do. Same with the blue, same with the purple. So when you are in game, you have a specially built alternator for yourself. And it doesn't change the ground loot at all because you see a purple, you pick up a purple. But it's your purple. It's what you choose to be that purple. You can turn an alternator into a different type of gun based on the style that you like to play and it doesn't change anything within the actual BR version of the game you get to customize it same with the stock same with the sc uh, the site same with all of that it's literally just adding another dimension to the game and we see it with Warzone all the time on all the different social medias right as much as I love Apex it needs to have another dimension because here's why if you are able to do stuff like that how much more content can you create being like, guys, I found the perfect setup for an alternator that you can run in Apex Legends and go ahead and do all that type of stuff. It's now you show it off. It's definitely a plus. I just don't have the confidence that having the game set up the way it is, that the devs could implement, uh, implement a balanced system like that without a million completely broken weapon combinations that would take a long time to work out in terms of their balancing because they already have so much difficulty balancing the ability of the legends and the weapons as they are so i think that adding you know a bunch of a bunch more combinations which exponentially increase the more 
variations of combinations you can make, especially if at every specific level for every specific weapon, they have to come up with balanced combinations that you can choose from. I just don't. I don't think that it's logistically possible for them to do that without breaking the game. Now let's now, now let's say in a perfect world, right? That, in a perfect world, yeah. No, that sounds dope. Does, would that not? If in a perfect world where everything can remain balanced and you can actually go through and make your own, basically, it's not even a create a class. It kind of is, but it isn't. You're not clicking on create a class and making this. In a perfect world where you have your ideal setup for a gun that you'd maybe never use, let's say the alternator, let's say, like, a lot of people don't use the alternator, a lot of people don't use the flatline, if you could tailor it to where you can actually use it, and maybe it loses some of its lore, maybe it's a up-close flatline, maybe it's a further away flatline where it's more of a sniper rifle, if you could do that in a perfect world where everything could remain balanced, would that not add a massive, gigantic chapter to a game that would bring more people in? No. No. Can I? Can 100% I? Hundred percent, it would. You guys, are, there's no way it doesn't I add would, to the game. I would like if it, in a I completely be, balanced world. There's no to way. No, it, let me tell you straight up. I would up. like it. I would. I would be more attracted to Apex if it had something like that. Okay, let me go first. In in a game like Apex, okay, and in gaming in general, because I've played a shit ton of Call of Duty and I know what I'm talking about here. In a game where you can have attachments that do specific things, even if it's based on you know. You know, white does this and blue does that and purple does this and this is that. There's going to become a meta because you're, you're just talking about the alternator. You're talking about the shitty gun that you're trying to make good. You're not talking about the R99 that's already good and you're going to stack some shit on top of it to make it even better. What if they just had shit that reduced recoil? Now the R99 is a laser that you don't have to pull down on, and you just rip people for 200 with one clip, but, and you don't even have to give a shit. But, but you're you forgetting already... that in the gunsmith, there are things that make it go up in certain things, but every single time, and we've we've all played war, Modern Warfare, down, something right. else goes there down. There has to be yeah, appropriate but the, trade-offs. But it, it, just like in Warzone, you can create a balance. Like, oh, okay, this takes away this from this. Then I just find another attachment that equals that out, and then I don't have to give a fuck about you know taking that part out. You, but mentioned- you always pay. Like for example, I like playing with zero recoil weapons. I like high damage zero recoil, but that means in in the context of Call of Duty, my aim down sight speed is metric ass. So and I have zero hip fire ability. And you have so, low mobility. And I have low well. mobility. So it's there's always going to be trade offs, and we're talking about in a perfect world. I'm talking about because you have to world. think. You already have an R99, which is great. And you can already get barrel stabilizers that make it better. So it's not like there's not already a mechanic where you can make good guns better. We're just talking about having more options on how you make guns better with appropriate and uh, balanced drawbacks for each specific thing you would choose. And before you get into it, Brian, because I know you have a lot, you mentioned it would create a meta. Do we not already have a meta? There is a clear and defined meta, especially whenever the R99 is in the game. It's clear. Like, there is a, already a meta. So why not make it to where there's another chapter of the game to where people can have more fun customizing and doing all that stuff? Because right now, all you can do is you look at your skins, you get your gun, that's pretty much it. And what Troy said, too, cosmetically, that would be badass if you could just make an alternator look different than what it looks like. I wouldn't be upset with the cosmetic changes, but I think that changing the stats or abilities of the guns by putting on certain attachments, one, I've always hated that in Call of Duty because sometimes the attachments make the gun look really ugly and you have to put them on anyways because they're fucking meta. And two, I just think that that is a whole bunch of hoops and bullshit to jump through. And I think it creates a meta in a bad way to where like, Call of Duty has a meta to where there's only maybe two or three guns that you can use. Otherwise, you get clapped every single game. So I don't want to come to a place where uh, Apex has a meta to where, like, say you can only use the Hemlock and the Mastiff because they have attachments on the Mastiff to make the Mastiff shoot farther or whatever the fuck. Or, like, make sure that the spread is tightened so then you just rip people for 100 every time no matter what. And then you have a hemlock that just bursts fires you to death because it has, you know, exponentially faster fire rate or something. That's like what, something what if it stupid. reduces spread by fifteen percent, but it reduces damage by fifteen percent? You know, we're what I mean? automatically assuming yeah, that they can't balance this. I'm it's, just saying in a perfect balanced. world, because so, it's like, okay, well, I can hit you from way further with the masters now, but I max out at seventy. It's like, well, is that a good trade-off? You don't know. It depends on how you play. 
I think it's possible. I just don't think that, especially with as many tiers, with it having it white, blue, purple, gold, mm-hmm. for them to be able to have, you know, let's say you have three different directions you can go with each attachment and each attachment has four levels that's a shitload to balance and Mm -hmm. i don't think that they have i don't think with the way the game is structured they have the the logistic capacity to balance that and then implement it where it's even remotely balanced off the rip it would take like a season's worth of adjustments to make it playable but if they could yeah it would be good what you're saying is 100 percent correct and i understand that it would probably not be able to work because they Apex already has enough trouble trying to balance things right now, and it totally wouldn't work. But in a perfect world, think about that. Not only for the game itself, right? But just having another chapter to where it keeps people in the game longer, that would be insane. How long would you spend time on your classes in Modern Warfare, especially when it came to Warzone? I would sit there, and I would work out every single kink and all that different type of stuff and figure out, and I'm balancing things. I'm looking, I'm like... I don't know if I can deal with losing this ADS speed, but I also need to reduce this recoil. That kept me in the game a lot longer than I would have ever played that game. Because, Way I mean, I, I, I didn't really play that game. But when I did, I was spending and having a lot of fun messing around with my gun and trying to find a perfect setup. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. It's definitely an interesting discussion. You can catch the full discussion on episode 20 of the Grab My Banner podcast available on all major podcasting platforms. Go ahead and listen to the full discussion, the entire episode. It's a goodie. But like I said, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about the gunsmith from Warzone coming in to Apex Legends.